All right, those look good. Those look good, everybody. How's it going? It's Paint with Josh back in the studio today. My goodness, Friday night freestyle. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's have a grand old time today. It's going to be fantastic. So we have our 16 by 20 inch canvas. I've already got everything done, so we didn't have to waste too much time prepping. If you do want to see how to prep the canvas, how to make it white, how to put the under colors on, please go to my YouTube channel, search under the videos tab, scroll down a little bit and search for the videos that say literally every single step. And then we'll start from a bare blank dry canvas and I show you how to do everything. But for shows like tonight, let's get rocking and rolling. We'll go right into our white paint. We're pretty much only gonna use Prussian blue, Thalo, uh, sorry, Thalo green, Prussian blue, Thalo blue, Alizarin crimson, midnight black and titanium white on our 16 by 20 inch black canvas. The canvas was already black when I bought it. I didn't do anything to this one. It was already black. Oh, brand new, brand new sweater, by the way. Brand new sweater. It's gorgeous. It says your girlfriend follows me on TikTok. Don't worry, she does. It's fine. It's okay. Everybody does. It's fine. Okay, today we're gonna do a blue sort of cave scene. So it's not a portal painting, but we do need a circular opening. You could try to do it freehand if you wanted to, but I find it easier if you do a little portal out here. <laughs> well, not a portal, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All we're doing is taking our cake pan. It's just a tin, it's a cake tin. It's eight inches across by two inches fat or deep. We're gonna take our brush around the edge. Just go very lightly because we don't need a whole lot of paint. We just kind of need a little bit of a line. Just a, just a guide, right? So pull it away, bang. I put too much paint up here at the top, but it's okay. It's okay. You guys are gonna tell me where you're watching from and what's your favorite sandwich, whether this is your first time watching Paint With Josh or your one millionth time watching Paint With Josh. Tell me where you're watching from and what's that favorite sandwich that you like to eat? Now, we're gonna imagine that we're inside of a cave right here and we're looking out of the opening. So maybe we pop just a little teeny tiny little puff of a moon out there just with the excess white that was on our brush, nothing else. And we're gonna take a dry Bob Ross one inch landscape brush, looks just like that, right? We're gonna come up here and just based off of our pressure, decide how far that guy's gonna grow down, right? Is it gonna get really big? We're gonna to try to extend it all the way across the circle or do we just want it to sit up there and be very teeny tiny and small, right? All up to us. So what I'm gonna do here, taking my smallest, teeniest, tiniest little fil uh, fan, <laughs> Filbert brush, little teeny tiny Filbert brush. Almost the smallest one we can get. We're gonna put a little bit of paint on it. Not too much, right? Just globbed off a whole big chunk. Cause you don't need that much. Just a little bit on the front, not the back, just the front. And come up here like that. We're gonna plop it right into that bright area. Plop, push it flat against the canvas and then spin the bristles. Pop, pop, pop. You should be able to get it in one little teeny tiny thing. Awesome little moon out there. Just fantastic. My goodness, and you can go across it very softly, all four directions though, right? Can't go just one way, it's gonna make it look all funny. There we go, soft, spooky little moon out there in the distance. Look at all the remainder of the paint that we still haven't touched yet on our brush. So we're gonna take that brush, and who knows, maybe we put in a whole nother section of cloud, but look, I'm gonna leave a little bit of disconnect of that color. Don't wanna come up and touch the, ooh, that was very close to the moon. Woohoo! that was very close. Gotta be careful when you get up there next to that moon. That moon will shift on you. You won't even think you're close to it. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you get right into that moon. No fun. Be careful. It likes to move. Now we're going to take our one inch brush like that. And then come up here. And we're just going to start to mix it down. Now, because we used a little bit more paint in the cloud section versus our area back here, it's remaining much brighter in color, right? It's not as faded as the one back there. We're also using much less pressure, just barely touching the thing. And we don't want to go too far outside of our portal, but again, it's not a portal, it's a cave opening. So don't get them confused. Just like that, let's pull off to the, the side. You guys know me, I love a nice soft bottom to a cloud, to a cloud. Mine's out of the gutter. Nice soft bottoms make it a little bit darker underneath there, right? Like the, you get, all we're doing is just letting it work in with that color. It's all we're letting it happen. Now, we don't really need much detail in a scene way out here. We still have some paint left on the brush. So let's decide, maybe there was a far off little, 
little peak, like way out here. We're just going to draw them in. Just like that, right? Far off little mountain. Take them, pull them down this way. All they are are very soft little details out in the, the distance, right? Little thing out there. Now, let's see what it'll look like if we take our brush and we mush it down, stretch it, and soften it, and blend it. And we start pulling off the other direction without any extra paint, right? Just letting it mix in with that darker paint, and that'll create that shadow that we're looking for. Because you got to have a brighter side, and you got to have a darker side, and all of a sudden, poof, just like that. Again, using the exact same amount of paint that we started with. Haven't added anything extra. Still got a big white chunk right here that I can't seem to come off of the brush. Maybe we get another little peek. Oh, there he is. There's that chunk of white that came flying out. You have to go a little bit up into your shadow, right? Again, we're going to do the exact same thing. Pull a little bit off of this way. A little bit over here. A little bit down there. Whatever we want it to look like. Whatever yours looks like, right? It's not about mine. This is my 964th painting, you guys. I'm catching up to 1,000 paintings very, very soon. Before the end of the year, we'll be at 1,000 paintings. Before the end of October, I would imagine, we'd be at 1,000 paintings. So if you're waiting to purchase number 1,000, get yourself ready because it's coming soon. Right? All we're doing, pulling on that little bit of paint. Now maybe over here, we're just going to let it mix in with that darkness. Just work it more times. Right, got more little brushes in there. Now we can go back over here. Maybe just with the, again, same brush. Maybe we can get a little excess, yeah, right there. A little excess brightness, a little shelf that came out at a different angle. So we pull it at a different angle. And maybe over here, we let it go off to the side, right? Little things, right? These are our far away mountains anyway. No one cares about what's happening back here. No one's looking, but on the edge and the very tip tops, we can pull up and if you can get it just right, it'll look like very far away trees on the tip tops of those mountains that are way off in the distance, right? Now down here, this is perfect. This is perfect. All we need is a bit of color. We don't wanna have a bunch of thick textury paint because all of that's gonna be on the inside of our cave. Remember, we're looking out of a cave right now. and. You don't have to worry about going out because we're going to come into the circle with our jagged bit of rocks. All we do need to worry about, though, is our waterfall, which we don't have enough paint for on the brush, but it's going to come out. It's going to go down like that. Right? Be very cool and spooky. I like it. Then we get a little bit of like river off in the distance. Very flat, though. You have to make the river flat. Like you want it to start way up here. And then it's like this big long line that's coming straight down. Doesn't make any, any sense. If you're going to do a river, it's got to be flat. All right, and then we go like that. Man, that's kind of cool. I was going to put trees right there, but that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I mean, if you ask me, and I, you know, it's not up to me. It's up to whatever you want your painting to look like. Remember, remember, Winnie, remember. It's up to you what you want it to look like. And again, don't worry about our portal. It's not a portal. Ooh, actually, that looks cool coming out that way. Just a little difference. I actually went like this and over to the side. You saw me do it, but the way that it looks now, it looks like we came out to the right and went down. You have to show the water coming from somewhere. So, so let's say it was over there, and then we're finally going to get some new paint on the brush, just a little bit, a little bit, and then we're going to start working our little brightness of our river off to the side. See? <laughs> right down into the thing. Last little bit of brightness. How far do you want your bit of waterfall to fall down? All up to you, right? It's not up to me. Not up to me. So what you guys are going to do is tell me where you're watching from, what's your favorite sandwich, and how much do you like the new sweater with the logo right out here on the arm? Ooh, it's like I'm doing curls, like I'm working out over here. <laughs> I, know, I, I knew you wouldn't be able to see it, right? So it's like it doesn't make a difference. It needs to be probably back here. but. They only do it in one certain part on the arm. In any case, hey, paint with Josh over here, right? Now, let's come back. Let's soften this guy down just a touch. Remember, you guys can get these sweaters at paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And all my hats. I got brand new hats. Oh, God, I got to show you guys. I got a brand new Paint With Josh beanies, guys. These are so cute and so soft. I had one on earlier, and I, I took a picture. Maybe I'll put it on my Instagram story or something. If you go follow me over on Instagram, you can be able to see what the beanies look like. It's actually a very good idea. I'll go put that over on my Instagram story. Very cool. 
So the beanies, I think they're like 20 bucks, 22 bucks, something like that. Nothing too crazy. I try to keep the prices so low that everybody could get one. You know what I mean? I know I'm not gonna make a million dollars off selling one beanie. So we try to keep the prices low. I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of our darker paint just to see if we can't have a little disconnect of our trees back in here. Just a little touch of that darkness. It separates it, right? There we go. Should have done it before our water, but don't have to go in a certain way. Look at that, just pulling them straight up. All of a sudden you get a little bit of forest back in there. Come back in here. And then we can even go back and brighten up our water if we want. I think it looks kind of cool actually, the way it is. A little bit darkish, but we can go back and brighten it up. A couple little bits, bing, bang, boom. You don't want to light up the whole river because it can't all be the same amount of bright. All right, can't. You have to leave little spaces in between. Then we can come over and light it up. Very, very cool. Very cool, guys. I amaze myself sometimes. I'm not even kidding. Not even joking with you. Very neat. Okay, now I say we get into what our, our cave wall is going to look like, right? Remember, we don't care about any of this. It's all nonsense to me. It's all going to get covered up. So if you're like, I can't make a circle... That's fine. You don't need one. You don't need to make one. Let's actually get any amount of thick paint off of the canvas in the area of the circle. It'll make it easier for us to go and cover over it with our dark colors. Just like that. <laughs> Tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. Already. Okay, what do you guys think about the new beanies, the new shirts, the new hats, the, uh, the new sweaters? <laughs> Remember, if you're watching over on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. The more people that we have, the more little thumbs up, the more taps on the screen on TikTok, the more taps on uh, the little emojis on Facebook, the more people will come and join us and have a good time. See, I see you guys doing it on Facebook now. You're doing the tappies. I see them on TikTok too. They're like... So make sure you give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Just takes one click. Click that thumb one time. That's all you got to do forever. Never have to even come back. Just click that sucker. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. Firstly, what are the three favorite colors that Paint With Josh likes to mix up in order to create a deep, dark shadow? And secondly, have you ever seen a palette knife this freaking big? Oh my God, look at this thing. It's enormous. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, uh, like a, like a, a butcher knife. It's, it, it's enormous. I found this at, uh, at Michael's today. It was $8 and I had to get it. It's a, it's an artist loft number 13, apparently. Uh, ginormous palette. I'm talking about, it's a big palette, uh, palette knife, excuse me. Enormous palette knife. So I figure we might as well get it nice and dirty. So what are those three colors that Paint with Josh likes to mix in order to create a deep, dark shadow? Crimson, black, and blue says Wanda G53. Pin your comment over there. Excellent, excellent. Susan West, blue, uh, black, red, and blue. Crimson, blue, and black says Lori. You guys are awesome over there on Facebook. You know what? This thing is almost too big for this canvas. It, I mean, it's enormous. Enormous. Maybe, a, maybe another day. Maybe if we need to. I was thinking about buying a, a huge canvas, and I was like, if I bought a huge canvas, I'm going to have to buy a huge... I'm going to have to make, like, a huge mountain. You know what I mean? Or a huge cave, or whatever it would be. It would have to be enormous. And so I was like, if I was just trying to do it with our little normal palette knives, that might take a lot longer. So I, I decided to pick up a crazy one. And if I was doing just, maybe, we'll, maybe you know what, maybe on TikTok, later on tonight on TikTok, I'll come back for a second show and we'll just do like one canvas, just one giant mountain and we'll be able to use that big giant thing. Who knows? We'll see. But in the meantime, we're mixing up our crimson, black, and blue paint in order to create a very thick, very dark mixture of paint. So it's like a, it's like a very dark, um, purpley mix. It's, I mean, it looks black when you're looking at it on your canvas. It looks black. As black as night. But it's actually when you actually mix it with the, the with you start to mix it with the white, it goes purple versus going gray, so to speak. So we're gonna take a little bit of that. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna start to decide what our opening is of our little cave wall is gonna look like, just by popping in a couple little stones here and there. Save a piece of where our river comes out of. Don't have to save it all, but save a little bit, man. Come in here, jaggedy, 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 jaggedy. Just like that, covered it all up. That's why we don't care what our little line looks like. Maybe it pops out up there. Maybe it comes down over there. 
Oh, by the way, guys, it's one of my mod, uh, one of my mods, Airy Fairy Fay. It's her birthday today, so if I can have everybody in the world say happy birthday to Airy Fairy Fay, she'll probably start crying. So, if you want to make a grown woman cry, tell her happy birthday about a million times, and we'll see how many tears we can get to come out of her little eyeballs. No, seriously, ha uh, happy birthday, Airy Fairy Fay, uh, from. Paint with Josh, very much appreciate your mod ship and everything you do uh, as far as Discord and just being the most awesome fan ever. Thank you and happy birthday on your birthday. We want to wish you a happy birthday. So, happy, happy birthday from Paint with Josh to you. I wish it was my birthday so I could quit painting and go party too. <laughs> Man, I'm just a lyrical genius. I don't know where it comes from. I'm like Josh A. West. Just a lyrical genius of my generation. Ain't nobody touch me, fam. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. A little bit of darkness all the way around. Now we've got this jagged opening, leaving a lot of room for mystery in the back, right? Mysteriousness. Now let's take our Bob Ross one-inch brush again. Try not to get any paint on my brand new sweater. Ooh, that'd be bad. I'd be mad at myself. And you can see that it's got a fair amount of that lighter color in it. That's what we don't want. I don't want these rocks to get, to get any brighter than they already are, right? They're kind of super dark right now, and that's how they have to stay. So let's wash the brush off. And this isn't the best day to show you the washing of the brush process because my jar is very old and it's not clean anymore. When I have a clear jar, very easy to see. So the jar is about that full of my odorless mineral spirits, which I'll show you in a second, right? All we're gonna do, even though it looks like I'm dunking the whole brush in, I'm only touching in how much, guys, I've said it many, 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 many times. How much do we dunk in those bristles? How many inches or how many fractions of an inch do we dunk in the bristles into the thinner? This is a question that's gonna be on the exam. You're gonna have to know this once you stop watching my videos and you start painting on your own, you're gonna have to know this answer. What is the depth that we immerse the bristles into the odorless mineral spirits? Does anyone know? Quarter inch memes 490. You must be paying attention, man. You must be paying attention. Ooh, Jamie Dovell says one inch over there. Let me, let me show you. This is about, just about two inches big, right? If we dunk the whole one inch in, that's gonna be so much fluid up inside all the way back in here, right? Inside of here, mine, nice and dry. My bristles don't get sticky. They're not hard. Every day we paint, every day, right? So it's like, it, you can literally grab any one of my brushes off the table and it's as soft as ever because I'm only using a very small amount of thinner. The thinner will climb its way up your brush and get to all the color. Don't worry, you don't have to dunk it in all the way. Please, it's gonna hurt your brushes over time if you're dunking it in all the way. I'm getting too much in there. You just gotta use just enough, just the lazy man's just enough, right? Now, since we've gone through, we dunked our brush, we flick it into a trash can to get all the excess liquid out, and then you go into your beater bucket. Now, my beater bucket is a five gallon bucket with a golf ball basket kind of stuck down to the bottom. I don't even need to hold it anymore. It's nice and stuck down there, which is really gross when you think about how much paint thinner and ooey gooey gray gross used nasty paint is sticking the thing from moving anymore it's kind of a foul i, I mean it, it was time to change the bucket months ago but i've been lazy I've been lazy so just like that all you need five gallon bucket that way you can beat the devil out of it right smacking it sorry you guys can't see down there smacking it against those little bristles. I do mine like this, obviously. And it beats it and it keeps it all contained inside the bucket. And that way you're not spraying it all over the house. Right? We don't want to do that. And you can see I'm pulling this stuff away, just like a clock. Just like a clock would, right? Excuse me. I'm sorry, I had to slam down uh, half a Chick-fil-A that I didn't even eat. And then uh, I basically only eat chocolate milkshakes now. That's it. <laughs> Just, just give me a chocolate milkshake and I'll be good. It's got enough calories. There's, uh, you know, calcium. 
I'm sure some other vitamins in, in a milkshake. <laughs> That's all I need to survive. Everyone else, just leave me alone to my milkshake diet and you watch. You watch. You're gonna have like a Joshy Craig and be like Jenny Craig, but Joshy Craig. And be like, oh, how did you lose weight? I just ate pure milkshakes. That was it. Just milkshakes upon milkshakes upon milkshakes all day long. Man, this is already turning into a really cool painting. Okay, let's come back in. Should we try that giant knife? You want? You guys want me to try that giant humongous knife just at least one time and try to make a, a little bit of a detail on there? Should we? I mean, I think we should try it. But you guys got to let me know in the comments whether or not you want to see me try that humongous knife and, um, <laughs> and see what we could see. Oh, that actually looks really cool with the, like you can still see the portal outline. Courtney says yes. Amy says yes. Please do it, says Archery Girl. Same thing from Robert. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> David over here is going, that's what she said. Go for it, they say. All right, let's try. I mean, I mean, it is kind of cool because it's got that bend, so I won't be dragging my nut, my fingertips across the paint like we always do. Uh, but yeah, I, it's just, this is so big. It is literally, <laughs> that is so much paint. Oh my. Okay, we're going to grab a bit of our blue if I can. Just a little <laughs> touch without grabbing. I'm going to have to split my colors apart further on my palette because you can't get just one piece of any color that I have. I'm pulling two bits. All right, we're going to come in here, mixing up the white and the blue. Ooh, I like it. It's like very sharp. Okay, a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, and uh, let's come in. We'll make up a different pile, so we'll grab a little bit more white, scrape up a little bit of blue. Teeny is the mat. Put that guy over here. There we go. Oh, man. That night, this is like, this is like dangerous, bro. This is dangerous. You guys watch out. Okay, let's come into our shadow. I can't even, can't even touch it right. Can't even load the paint right. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, let's pick a long spot then. If we're going over here, okay, well maybe we'll go down this side, right? Very light. Oh my! I mean, how many times do I tell you guys? It doesn't matter what tools you're using, what the size of the knife is, or the blade, or whatever your sharp bit is. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't I say that all the time? Don't I tell you that? A little bit of light down here, darker colors over here. That's what I'm going to try to achieve in this one anyway. So, maybe we, and we're going to save that super bright for later on. Save it for later. Come up here like that. Very soft. Let it grip on. Grip and rip. This is my new favorite toy. Man, it's so nice. And you get these $8 at, uh, at Michael's. I found them. $7.99. Artist Loft ginormous palette knife. That's what I would go ask for. You're like, uh, can I help you find anything? Uh, yes, please. Can I find an artist loft number 13 ginormous palette knife? Where do you have those hanging? Cause that's what we need. And we'll come over here. Ooh, look at that sharp little lines you can make too. That's just wicked sauce. Oh man. You can go forever on this sucker because there's so much paint on the knife. You gotta be careful. That's pretty cool though. I like that. I like that. Let's try to grab a little bit less paint, right? A little bit less. Let it mix in a little bit more on this side. A little dark. Ooh, that looks like a face already. Eye, nose, mouth looking outwards. Tell me it don't. Now I'm going to have to save it. Now I'm going to have to save him. Now we're going to have a little bit of darkness in between everything else. Maybe we got another section comes down that way, right? Little face right there with like an Indian headdress on now. That looks wicked. That looks wicked, guys. Oh, that's cool. I see, like, the stuff just happens. It's not about, like, oh, Josh, you're so good. I'm like, really? Because for me, they just fall out the, they fall off, and I just, like, I've known when, nowadays, when to stop, right? When to stop is a big problem with a lot of painters, right? You're like, ooh, this looks cool. I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing it. And then what happens? You've overdone it. And you're like, man, I should have stopped way back here when I had the chance, and uh, I didn't, and this is what happened, right? And look at that, scrape up a bit of that, change the look, go over it a bit more. Oh, you guys, that is just so stinking neat. I love this knife. That's cool. I'm gonna tell my, I gotta tell my manager, if uh, DC, if you're watching, 
please write to Artist Loft, since they've already contacted us to make a deal. Please write to them and tell them I want more of these humongous knives, because these are amazing. Maybe we could do a giveaway or something if we had more of these. I could give one away to somebody. The, uh, that would be cool. So please, senor, if you can contact uh, Artist Loft, tell them Paint With Josh really loves these knives, and he's talking about them right now. Talking about them right this, I mean, you don't have to write the email right this instant, I'm just saying. You could say it, whenever they read it, I could be talking about them right now. I mean, it's on YouTube, so we could be, we could replay it and do it all over the place. Watch this, we're gonna turn the knife upside down. Pulling away from the opening like a clock, though. Is that a rock or is it an opening in the sky, guys? I can't remember. Is it a rock? No, that looks like some faraway sky. It's gotta be some faraway sky, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. We're gonna take our bit in here. Same thing, let's turn it upside down. Grip and rip. Little pieces, very lightly touching. All right, we don't wanna have too much detail, too much brightness up there. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Too much of anything is gonna be bad, right? Too much of a good thing is gonna be bad. So let's go back and darken that section up with just some more of the darker paint. And then we leave it off to the edge. So I wanna know how many of you people said happy birthday to Airy Fairy Faye, Airy Fairy Faye over there on TikTok. You guys gotta let me know. Airy Fairy Faye, tell me how many people, was it 100 people? Did, were you overwhelmed by, by comments? Were you crying? I wanna know what happened, because I missed it. I missed it. She's right there at the pinned comment, guys. It is her birthday today, and uh, it'd be really cool if you told her happy birthday. It would be cool. She's always here watching the shows, helping out, telling people where they can go buy the paintings when I forget, because I always forget. You guys know I always forget. Oh, by the way, uh, you can go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com if you want to purchase this painting or any of my other paintings that I have available for sale over there. We've got loads over on paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Head over, check them out. This is how I make my living, guys. So, you go to work, earn your money. I stay home and teach you how to paint and try to come up with cool things for you to paint. That's how I make my money. You guys, want, you know, every so often, somebody will come and buy a painting and that'll keep me in business, right? Keeps me in business, keeps you guys learning, and gives me the ability to go out and purchase cool little things to show you, you know, this is actually working better than the smaller one. <laughs> the smaller one. Okay, I wanted to leave this part open for something special right down here. Something special, but it can't be nice and dark like that, right? If it's too dark, then we're not gonna have anything to bounce our foreground pieces off of, so we have to get it a little bit brighter. So let's say we came down, maybe just back and forth until we start hitting the canvas, there we go. Maybe there's a little bit of water down in here, some sort of something, a little bit, right? Down at the bottom, obviously there's some water in there, it's feeding down into our cave. There must be some water down in the bottom. In my IMO, in my opinion, guys, there must be some water down here. Very cool, now you can see how we've left a little gap in between the two bits of color. You have to have that, otherwise you never, you don't know what's what, right? If you leave that little dark disconnect or a little dark separator, as we like to call it when we're doing seascapes, same thing. I mean, how many dark separators can you find around this painting? They're all over the place. Little bits of dark piece in between, breaking up all the blue and white, right? Now this, we're gonna come in, we're just gonna start making like a, almost like, I mean, you could do it like we do with our clouds, right? You could hold it that way. You could do this, you could like mush it and turn it and twist it and do whatever you want to do down here. Come on. A little bit over there. Maybe hold the brush a little bit differently. Do it over here. A little bit, just a little bit of mist. And you can see, what have we left in between? What did we leave, class? What have we left in between our bits of color down here? I just told you the word. Now you got to repeat it to me. What have we left? Oh, I need to take a drink. My goodness. Mm. Oh, it's so good. God, I gotta run out and get more Dr. Pepper after this. Amy Sloan says, dark separator. You guys are 100% correct. Geraldine, thank you. I appreciate that, saying the painting is gorgeous. Remember guys, if you're watching over on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up over there. The more thumbs ups that we have, it only takes one click. Hit that thumbs up button. 
one that's like this. You don't even have to smile. You just have to click it. You just click it. That's all. And that's going to tell more people and more people and more people that what we're doing over here is worth watching and having fun. And we're teaching you and you're learning something. I'm going to go right through our little bit of our waterfall, right into the mist. Lots of pressure with this cloud. It's, you know, it's basically a cloud as we're pushing it, we're blending it, getting all that color, all these little bits to come off back there. And because we've left that dark separation, it looks like a shadow, right? We didn't have to paint it. It's already there. All you have to do is not paint it. Like, okay, that's it. Don't touch it. Hands up. Don't touch it. The more you touch it, the more you're going to mess it up. That's what I always say to myself. Just like that. Clean off some of these brushes. You guys are going to tell me where you're watching from. And let's just say the earth was falling into a black hole in about an hour. But for whatever reason, nobody told DoorDash. So they're still operating. And they're bringing food. What are you ordering for your very last meal? I want to know. I want to know. Are you getting Chick-fil-A? Are you getting, I don't know, Jersey Mike's? Are you going to have some Thai food? You have lobster and steak? What are you... Oh, excuse me. What are you having for your very last meal? You can tell my very last meal is trying to come up during the show. I'm trying to keep it down. But it's trying to come up, ladies. And I'm so sorry. I apologize. How rude of me. I'm like a Neanderthal. Very deeply apologize. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try not to let it happen again. But just like that, we got a really, really, really cool scene coming together. Now, here's what we decide. Do we do a little cemetery down around the bottom? Or do we put in like a sunken ghost ship or some sort of something kind of like Goonies-ish? You know what I mean? Watching from Idaho, says Charlene. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. You guys are awesome. You're literally fantastic. Prime rib with sides, creme brulee. Oh, creme brulee for dessert. I got it. I got to agree. I have to wholeheartedly agree. Very last dessert I'm ever going to have. You bet your ass it's going to be a fancy creme brulee. Woo, with that. Burn the top of that sucker for me. I want it. I want a section, at least a section of this big that's just black burnt sugar. I want that. Give me that. So what do you guys want to see? You want to see a cemetery at the bottom, a couple little sunken gravestones, right? Which we could do. Or should we put the remains of maybe one-eyed Willie's ship back in there? Hmm, there's a lot of people that say ghost ship. A lot of people. Oh, you guys are killing me with the ghost ships. I was hoping this would be a nice, quick, little easy live, but no, I had to open my mouth and suggest that you guys suggest something. So, okay, we'll put a little, I mean, it's not going to be very big, you know what I mean? A little far away, a little ghost ship. And if we do that, remember, you can't do gravestones in the front. I mean, I guess we could, but they'd have to be like right up front. No, just forget it. Just forget everything I say. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Don't listen. You know, do as I do, not as I say, or whatever. You know, whatever I do, do the opposite. I never know what I'm doing up here, so... It's literally live shows every single night of the week until somebody over from Netflix or Hulu or somebody's gonna hit us up. I'm telling you, manifest destiny. Netflix, please email me and be like, hi Josh, we would love to offer you a show, an hour long series, doing this and that and blah, 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 teaching people how to paint. Do you have, uh, you know, boom, manifest destiny. Thank you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna be on TV one day, guys. I'm telling you. We've got over 1.4 million followers now. It's gonna happen. Like, it, no matter if you love me or you hate me, it's gonna happen. There are, it's, that's a lot, like when you think about it as in terms of like a TV executive, that's a lot of eyeballs that you could advertise to. You know what I mean? And only the more eyeballs that we reach, the more chances, you know what I mean? It's gonna be there. Hey, well, Josh, right on your television screen. I know some of you watching me on YouTube on, on your televisions right now, but difference when you're on like a network. Here we go. All right, what, what is our decision? Do we decide? Because I, 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 I can't decide. Baby Ruth, baby Ruth. <laughs> hey, you guys. Let's see. All right, we decided on the ship, apparently. Oh, you guys kill me. Okay. You know, you, gotta, you, you just got to make it hard for me, don't you? 
You just, I mean, whoa, whoa. That's what he said. But you just gotta make it rough on me. Also sounds bad. Okay, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. The kids don't know what we're talking about, but we do. We do. We do. Now, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna do a ghost ship, man. If we're gonna do a ship, let's do a ship. Now, I'm gonna get a little fan brush because whatever reason I like, um, like stenciling with a fan brush. I don't know why. Don't ask. Don't ask why. Just trust in the madness. Let's go back to that very dark color that we made all of our rocks out of, right? That triple color mixture. Who knows what that three, excuse me. Oh, I need like a Tums or something. Some, uh, some uh, Pepto-Bismol, upset, what's that, it has a song, it was like upset stomach, indigestion, heartburn, something, diarrhea. I don't have the last one. <laughs> Just a little indigestion, that's all. A little, I had to slam down a spicy chicken sandwich as fast as possible before the, uh, before the show. Okay, let's come in here. We're gonna line up our little mall stick, right? All this does is because we have a wet canvas, I get this question all the time. Look at how short I am too, because I've spread my legs all the way apart, like, like I'm surfing. Surfing USA. Ba -na 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 -na. Ba -ba. <laughs> I'm a nutcase, I don't know why you guys watch me, I swear. I swear. Okay, if we're gonna do sunken, broken, so shoot. Do we have enough room? Is the quest. The questies, because I don't want to do it just straight side profile. You gotta have, oh, no, there it is, I see it. It's already here. There's the front. Zip. Went off the back with its little zing right out the front. Bing, bang. Boom, A little stencil action. Okay, now, I'll dip the whole brush into the, the uh, pile of green paint, uh, the whole stick into the pile of green paint accidentally. Let's go around the side. Little line back there. Got our bow of our ship down into the depths, right? That's why you have to have that light color in order for it to bounce color off of. There we go. Then we can adjust the ship, or the, the shape of the ship and do all the stuff later on. Gonna very lightly fill in the center. And at least now we'll have our place where we can come down and bash in our uh, our masts and stuff. There we go. Very cool. And then it all depends on how we highlight it and what colors we use and where the light is and this and that. Let's come from the, I mean, that's a pretty big ship right there, Josh. That's a pretty big boat. Let's see. We had a guy like this. Boop. Just a little mast floating out there, right? Hanging out. We come down, maybe had a little shorter one behind him. Bing, bang, boom. Now, let's add in some broken bits of details and stuff, right? So, I have enough paint on our brush first. Maybe this guy's got a nice straight little bit. These guys back here. Maybe it goes like that. Maybe this one piece is broken off, right? It's like hanging there, you never know. These guys off in the distance need a little bit more paint on the brush. It's just easy how they just come together. Come together right now. Paint with Josh. Oh, guys, that's gonna be a new hit. That's gonna be a hit. Come together right now. Paint with Josh. Bow, 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 bow. It looks like a ship, ship enough. That's ship enough for me, you ship shape sailor. Shippity ship shape. Very cool. Remember, it's a broken up ghost ship. It doesn't have to look the most perfect thing in the world. Now, let's come in here. Just thicken these guys up, right? He's got his sails that are all tied up. They're not at full, full canvas. They're not at full canvas yet. They're all cinched up because he's waiting to break out of the, of the, uh, the thing. Oh, beautiful! My goodness! Let's take a little bit back here. We should have done this beforehand. 
All right, let's put the back of the ship back there. Bang, just a little square. <laughs> Get out of here, Josh. How are you so good? I don't know, guys. I, honestly, it comes from the ether. It's not me. It's not me. I don't know. How do I get up here with no practice? You want to know when the last time I painted a ship was before last night? Three years ago. Just about three years since I painted a ship last. And it's just falling out the brushes over here. You know what we're going to do? Let's change this up. I like this better if it's a little straighter. Like it ain't broken. And then we'll have whatever that piece was. Oh my God. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic. We're going to come up here with a little bit of our rolled up little bits right? <laughs> Whew, that's not even done yet either okay <clears throat> just like that happy birthday to airy fairy fay what'd you turn like 21 today oh my goodness <laughs> no seriously how old did you turn and if, if you're comfortable i know you know shouldn't ask how old the woman is i'm sorry take it back i take it back never mind I take it back never mind just happy birthday Fairy, fairy, fairy! <laughs> ah, man. Josh is on the Red Bulls this evening. Red Bulls laced with Walter White's crystal blue goodness. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> only jokes, people. Only jokes. Now, I think I'm going to have to switch to my smaller fan brush. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is a fan brush now, apparently. If you're brand new to painting, this is a fan brush, according to Paint With Josh. That's a fan brush. No, 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 it's not, senorita. We're gonna have to switch to our smaller palette knife, is what I meant. I was talking about fan brushes so much that I went to go grab a fan brush. I don't need a fan brush, I need this. A little smaller little palette knife, okay? Now, where in the heck, was it there? Or was it up higher? I can't remember where the top of the, and I can't see it. See, this is why you got to have that background color, because if you go too much up into the darkness, you can't see anything. Take the same bit of our blue on our palette knife. Let's come up in here. I'm just going to touch just a little, little bit. Little bits of highlight, right? Nothing too crazy. Maybe on these guys, it might, oh, yes, it might look neat. As like the, if the canvas was ripped or if it was, it just showed the sails, right? Got to show the sails. Gotta highlight them a little bit. Little bits. Ooh! Little bits like that. Come on up here. Put our, yes, in the light side. Come to the dark side of the force. Very cool, guys. Just the littlest, teensiest, tinesiest little touches right along the edge where your light would be coming from from our moon right so you gotta leave a dark side and you gotta leave a light side but just like that folks very simply done there we go very cool now some of these guys aren't allowed to crisscross over but your knife is big enough to make them want to crisscross over right so you have to go back a little bit of our darkness we can separate any bits of color that we don't want to touch. Bam, bam, bam. A little bit of darkness, a little bit of dark, a little bit of dark. Oh, yeah. Make it thick. The dark parts make it nice and rounded. If you don't have a bit of dark around the back side of your light, it's not going to look 3D because you're missing something back there. A little section out there. Bink! That looks wicked cool, guys. Just wicked cool, right here on the top of the mast, like that. And we got a bit on the edge over there, bit around the side over there, and you can all of a sudden see that we've got two sections of shippery right around here. Now I'm gonna come with these sideways little flicks like that, right? Little planks almost, little planks of wood. You can come in and touch them like this if you wanted to. Just tap it. Don't make them too bright. Don't have them be too many. You know, details in there because it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a bunch of details back there. A little bit of our captain's cabin back off in the shady side. Aye, pirates, be warned. <laughs> oh, man. Damon Josh has lost it. He's lost his dang mind. 
Dudes, that's cool. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care if you're like, this guy can't paint a ship to save his life. That's neat in my book. And that's all that matters, right? How do I like it? How many times do I tell you guys, you're the ones that have to like it, not me, you. When you send it to me, I'm going to go, oh my God, that's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. I love blah, and I'll name something that I like about it because I'm a nice person, right? I'll never tell you it's horrible and that you should stop or whatever. You're always going to get encouragement from Paint With Josh, whether you want it or not. I'm going to give it to you. So no matter if you send me photos or pictures of your, you know, recent paintings, failed paintings, best paintings ever, I'm going to tell you they're freaking awesome, man. And continue. Please don't give up. Continue. A little bit of darkness back in there. Oh, baby. What do you guys think of that? I haven't even looked at the comments section. Maybe you guys are like, uh, that's like the worst ship I've ever seen. Oh, my God. That's like terrible. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there is going to be a big hole in the body of the ship for sure. I did that in my sunken ship last time. So in order to do a big hole, you can literally take some black, come up in here right around the water level, right? Just layer it on nice and thick. Boom! Cannon fire! Explosion! Right? And we can raise our level, our water level, to wherever we want it to be. Just by doing this such. Right? Come in here with our white. A little bit more on the brush. Start to bring it back, brighten it up. A little bit more things. Come in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's in there now. Oh, it's sunk in there now, baby. Just like that. A little bit brighter, a little bit taller. Wish he was a baller. He wish he had a pirate ship that didn't have a hole in the hauler. I was trying to say a hole in the hull. That baller, haul, you know, whatever. No one gets me. It's fine. Just forget about it. You guys, just forget about it. Just leave me alone, all right? Just, oh, shoot. I just dropped paint on the floor. It's okay. We got painting blankets down there on the bottom of the ground. I'm going to take a little bit of white back here. Say we came in. Oh, jeez. Little touches like that. Yes. Wicked cool. Now, let's take our one-inch brush over here. Very lightly. Oh, so stinking. Light little touches. There we go. Such a small bit versus a lot of power. A lot of pressure over here, right? Boom, 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 boom. Now, I'd say that's a pretty small enough pirate ship that we can include some more details down in here, guys. Luckily for you, we still got about 12 minutes on the show. So start coming up with an idea. What would you want to name this painting? If you purchase this painting, you have the rights to name it whatever you want. So if you don't want to purchase it, then at least give us an idea about what you would name it if it was yours to name, right? If you were like, you know what? Yeah, that's freaking rad. That's freaking rad. If you had just painted this and your name was Paint With Josh and you were like, hey guys, what would you call this painting? Pretty much exactly what we're doing right here. What would you call this painting? <laughs> what would you name it if you had just painted it and you were like, this is the best painting I've ever done in my entire life. And now I have to pick a name for it. What are we titling it? Because to me, it's 964. That's its title to me. 964. That's it, right? And I mean, I could put like 964 cave, sunken shit, Goonies cave. Maybe that's, a, maybe we should just call it Goonies cave. Never know, dudes. Never know. And I really want to go watch Goonies though. Run, Mikey. The Fatalis are after you. A little bit of dark, shadowy stuff. We go up into the ship, pull down a bit of darkness, keeping it all crazy, jaggedy rocks. All sorts of little spires and sharp junk. And we'll pull it all the way down here, getting rid of all that color down around the bottom. And sometimes with these canvases, you gotta push a little hard. There we go. Just like that. Now, let's take our bit. We're gonna soften it back. Now remember, we have to keep a bit of dark line in between this piece of rock and our ship back there because we're gonna be highlighting them with the same exact colors, right? We can't have the blue on top of 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 the blue. You're never going to see anything like that, right? So what I mean by that is that when we come in with our very light bluish color, maybe we're going to darken it up just a touch with that darker bit. 
And let's grab just a little sneak more blue, because I really love the dark blues when we come down to our very feet, the base of our feet where we're standing down here, right? That darker blue color. But watch, we're going to leave a little disconnect of the black line back in there, right? I almost prefer highlighting with that bigger giant knife now, you guys. What have you done to me, Artist Loft? Just like that, though. you see that little black separation, that last little dark separator in between our bits of color? And this dang Artist Loft knife has ruined me. I love it so much. But this is little, small, little, teeny, tiny, little baby details we're gonna work with down here, right? Cool little thing. Cool little things. Bits of that super bright color that we never even used. Very neat, right? Little bits of action as this moonlight has come down and hit down upon us. Very, very cool. It gets a little shadowy guy. Take some of the color, you can push the color back. You can do whatever. You can always re-brighten up your water. No worries there. Very neat. Little rock down here, right? Now, let's say maybe, perhaps-ish, just throw our brushes all over the place. Let's go with like another little cliff over here. So I'm going to bring out this ginormous... I either have to get bigger piles of paint or uh, spread them apart a lot more. But there we go. Just a good amount of all the colors that we need. Put it right back in our little dark section, and then we'll just mix it back and forth. You know what I like about the knife too? It's very sturdy. There's like a lot of pushback when you, in that bend, right? And it's like really sharp. It's real, I feel like I could gouge into my palette if I'm not careful. Very sharp. So, it's like a, it's, it's literally like a trowel you would like <laughs> do cement or tile with. Okay, let's come in here, grab up enough of that color. We gotta come up into our, dark section, right? So I know it's all sort of dark, but you have this bright color and as it works its way down and down and down into this darker bit, that's where you want your next piece of foreground to be. So perhaps there was a big old ginormous chunk of land, like a spire of rock, just like they have in the Goonies. Just the, the what, what are those things called again? The, um, oh, come on, Josh, you know that freaking thing. I'm not listening to you guys. Haystack, haystack rock. That's what it is. Bunch of haystacks out here, right? Out into the mist. Down into the abyss. Very cool. I've been watching a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean recently. If you can't tell, we're on a Pirates of the Caribbean kick. And uh, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. There we go. Oh, yeah. See how we bring some of the darkness down here. This is why we have that color back there so you can bounce off of it. So you can tell the difference between what's what around here. What is what? What's happening? What's going on? Take all this color, stretch it to the back. It doesn't even have to reach all the way. It doesn't even have to go all the way to the back. You just want to pull on it a little bit. All it does is soften it down, just a touch. All right up here, our little sharp guys are coming down, down. We can even string some of the water. Look at this, just pushing the water back into it, pulling it. Wait, ooh, guys, that looks friggin' neat. I can't believe this one hasn't sold. This is 50% off, guys. 50% off its normal price. And you're just letting it sit there? You're just letting it sit there for anyone else to get? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Because I, 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 I'm, I, you know, I say this a lot, but I swear on my life, on, on, on the man upstairs, okay? I'm pulling it out of the store as soon as this show is over. If it is not purchased, you won't have access to it because it will be mine. It will be all mine. <laughs> ah, and you won't be able to have it. It will not be for sale. And I'll post the crap out of it. Hey, check this out. Oh, you want You can't have it. It's fine. No, it's not for sale because you didn't buy it during the show, right? If you want to get it, I'm telling you, one of the best paintings of all time from Paint With Josh anyway, right? I mean, who, who's Da Vinci? Who's that? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But one of the best paintings of mine that we've ever done out here, and you're just letting it sit? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. Bang. Guys, frick. This, oh, about fell over. This one is so stinking neat. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Very cool. Now, let's come back over here. Let's light up a little more section of our, our uh, bit of our rock. Where were we? Now, remember, you got to have a bit of disconnect in there from our blue colors. There's got to be a bit of darkness around the edge. So don't go too freaking crazy. Really cool. We don't need to be so bright. There we go. Mix it down. Streak it back. All these cool little details. They don't have to see everything. Remember, you're never gonna see every piece of every rock inside of a cave or wherever. You're never gonna see every piece. So don't worry about it, man. Oh, frick, if that's not the coolest thing ever. All right, now let's put in like a, we're really gonna have to soften this guy down, just a touch. Ooh, softly. Softly, just so, just a, like two hairs and some hair, honestly, so soft, just like that. Oh, wicked, wicked cool. Now, should we put in some gravestones down in here? Like the pirates were like, they tried to get out, they couldn't, and then maybe, you know, they, they put a gravestone, because obviously they ate the pirate to survive a little bit longer, and then they all perished, no matter what. But <laughs> we, have to, we have to at least pretend like they tried to bury somebody. They, they tried to be civil. They were trying to be civilized people. Even though they were pirates, they're still trying to be civilized. Let's come back in here with a couple little details. Now, these Zen art brushes, I talk about them all the time. I just released a brand new TikTok video right two minutes before the show showing how to use this to make lightning just in three seconds. It was like, made the bit of lightning. Most awesome liner brush that I've used so far. This is not a paid promotion. I just really, I really like the brush. They're called Zen art brushes, and they look just like this. They're all, they all come wrapped up for like Christmas in a little red bow. They're fantastic. Go to www.zenartsupplies.co, not .com, .co. Now, got 12 brushes inside. I've only used two of them so far. They sent them to me as like a miniatures kit. Apparently the pe uh, people that do a lot of miniatures paintings use these brushes. And I was like, well, I don't really do miniatures, but I'll take the brush set. Yeah, for sure. And if I like them, I'll talk about them. Well, boy, oh boy, we like them a lot. So, we talk about them a lot. And remember, just real quickly, if you're watching me over on TikTok, I wanna try this out. This is the Artify set that I have inside my TikTok shop thingy, right? So if you're watching on TikTok, you should be able to pull up my TikTok shop. This should be the very first item, and they're very cool. Uh, I got them a long time ago. Uh, they should be sending me some more different brushes and stuff, but I saw those in the TikTok shop. So if you purchase these right through TikTok during the show, I get like 30% of that, whatever your cost was. I think it's like 20 bucks, 23 bucks, something like that. So I just wanted to try it and see because I actually have used those products before and I really like them. Uh, one of the brushes is actually like when you want to get into a real small space, this little one inch brush compared to the Bob Ross one that we normally use, right? Same bristles, a little bit uh, soft, but look at how thin they are, right? So you get into a lot tighter area, like you could come back in here, which you couldn't do with this brush because you'd be hitting your mast and your bit of ship, right? If I wanted to fix any amount of little things that are happening in there, it's pretty much all I use that Artify set for was this and their liner brush, which is excellent. But for 23 bucks, you get like 24 pieces, freaking wicked. They're in my TikTok shop thingy. So however that works, I don't know how it works, I just list the stuff, and if people buy it through my site, I get a piece of the, the pie, I guess, whatever. I don't, I don't know how it works. You know what I, you know how I try to survive? I try to sell paintings. That's how I know how to survive versus trying to figure out these online ways of making money that are really, uh, they either really make me feel old because I can't figure it out, or I just don't know what the heck's going on. Maybe we'll put another little section in over here. Did we want to add gravestones? You guys got to tell me if we're putting in some stonages, or if we're gonna leave it as is, you gotta let me know. Oh, that little rock action. A little bit of our brighter color up here. Oh yeah, look at that. Pull it down in different ways. It's like journey, little differences. Hey. Zip, zap, zoop. Have a little shadow off to the side. We have all these sharp little bits. Are we adding in a couple gravestones or not? Let's see. Add skeletons. Skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons. 
very talented. Thank you. I appreciate that. Leave as is. I know, right? I, I think so, too. I don't really think it requires gravestones. They wouldn't be down here in the water anyway. If anything, I would add one more piece of rock right down here in the front to sort of push our bit of water like it was going like this, right? Like maybe this is one giant piece in the middle of some pool. So let me know if we should do that. If you want to put a one more bigger piece of stone, maybe a couple little spires that stick out, give it some more depth. Or should we leave it as is? I don't mind because the one hour timer is now up. It's actually we've been streaming for one hour and one minute. So we're gonna end the show soon anyway, but I always like to ask you guys, no matter what, there we go. Woo! This one came out fantabulous. Just fantabuloso. Excelente. I really, really dig it. So, let me know what we should name it, guys. I gave you 20 minutes ago. I said start coming up with a name. 20 minutes have gone by, and I bet you haven't even come up with one single name for this painting. I bet you ain't. The painting sold, holy cow! I guess we do have to leave it as is. Thank you, Jay Lee, for letting me know. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, dark night. So, if it did sell, then we're gonna need to figure out who the buyer is. Goonies are good enough. That's an excellent title, Lori. I appreciate that title over there. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Oh, let's see. Somebody says they bought it, but there's no way to check because I have to end one of these streams. So, let's see. Boo Boo, it's not like I don't believe you, but we do have to be sure, right? I don't want to, uh, I have to, I have to double check. So, um, I'm gonna have to end one of the streams, which is fine. We're done with the painting anyway. Let's put in our little birds, and then we can do um, our little things. Add a couple little bits of like, a couple teeny little bits of line out here. We'll add our little birds in, do all sorts of stuff. Bits of floating, wispy bit of broken line oh so cool okay let's come up in here little birdie action bop 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 just like that flying through the clouds we come down we're gonna sign it in white today right down here hide it in this little guy just like so okay guys well thank you for tuning in for watching the show uh, on these streams when i only have you know, where I'm using all three of my devices in one go to go Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. I have to finish and end and ver therefore verify who bought the painting and where it's gonna sell to and this, that, and the other. So let's end it over on YouTube and uh, then we'll go check the store. So if you're watching on Facebook, don't worry, you're safe. If you're watching over on YouTube, head over to Facebook or head over to TikTok and uh, check out the rest of the show. I promise it won't be too much longer. I don't wanna be up here all stinking night. So. Uh, thanks for watching over on YouTube, and until I see you guys again next time, take care, have the rest of a good day, and ba -ba. I think my voice cracked like a 12-year-old boy. It was a, have the rest of a good day, guys.